Hey guys, so today we're just going to be testing the accuracy of the Apple Watch Ultra's blood oxygen monitor. Of course, this is a feature that's been in the Apple Watch series since the Series 6. I know personally when I first had that Series 6, then I was having trouble with basically consistently getting a reading. Um, you get the hang of it eventually and you kind of learn how to make it work properly. Apple doesn't advertise this as a medically grade feature and that doesn't hadn't been clinically tested as the electrocardiogram feature has. But we've got right here a medical grade one that I picked up from a pharmacy, um, actually something we had around during COVID days. And I figured, you know what, I've seen a few of these videos online and I think it might be beneficial to test it out with the Ultra just for, not, not a scientific test by any stretch of the imagination, but we'll do a few tests uh, just so you guys can see and maybe it'll help you. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see here, showing 97%, I had to do a little cut just because uh, was had to readjust the sizing of the blood oxygen. But as you can see here as well, well, it was just saying 97 there, now it's 96, but fairly accurate. And let's do another one, just to test. So it's showing 97% again on this one, on the Apple Watch Ultra, and on the blood oxygen SpO2 monitor, it's showing 98%, so fairly similar as well. Um, it does use the infrared red light, as you can see here, same as the Apple Watch Ultra, which when you're running it, you can see here, it does use those red lights. And Let's do another one just for our own sanity. Third time, why not? Like I said, not a scientific test by any stretch of the imagination. It's just this kind of subjective test. Um, I think if the conditions are right, you definitely can get an accurate reading, but obviously it's not going to be as reliable as a medical grade, but it's still pretty, pretty accurate when you get the conditions right. Now, the healthy range for blood oxygen is between 95 and 100%. And medical practitioners will tell you when you're sitting down versus when you're lying down versus when you're standing up, your blood oxygen can definitely vary. So 97%, 97% again. So basically, if you've been lying down, your blood oxygen will be lower. But if you get up and your blood starts pumping, of course, through your body to your head, and likewise, uh, your blood oxygen will become more saturated because your blood is being circulated throughout your body more to facilitate your movement. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're ever doing monitors, whether it's medical grade or Apple Watch Ultra. But yeah, uh, overall, pretty happy with the results and hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks.